Okay, this little video is in response to a question by Oscar on the forum. Oscar's trying to make a sword with a wooden handle that had chain mail going over the wood. And his problem was between the links, either he would completely obscure the wood, or if he uh, took away some of the opacity to make it transparent between the links, he'd see through the wood uh, into other texture sets. I started asking him questions here on the forum about his uh, layers and how they were indented and stuff, and there was a flaw in my thinking. I temporarily forgot that if you make a part transparent, it isn't just that layer in the stack. You're adding transparency to the whole texture set, so you, that's why you see right through the wood and everything. Uh, after thinking about that some more, I realized perhaps these brand new anchor points would be the solution, and sure enough, uh, that works out great. Here's my solution using anchor points. I started with uh, a sample project. I used the meat mat project. I had already downloaded the chain mail from Substance Source uh, a long time ago because it's a really cool substance. Load it into my project as a base material and I'm going to just load it into my current project so it doesn't need to go on my permanent shelf. And I'll add the chain mail into my layer stack zoom in some so we can see it and it's pretty cool if we look through our channels using the C key uh, we can see our base color metallic and roughness and stuff and I thought boy this height is really cool I only need to see the chain links where the height is not black and that's what I used now going through this a uh, couple of times I decided that metallic even gave a better result um, so I'm going to turn this, I'm going to go back to material mode. I added some wood because we need a wood handle. And again, here's the problem. We see the wood uh, blending in with the chain. So let's put our chain mail on top. Go to my project shelf. Add this up above. And uh, sure enough, it completely obscures the wood below. Now the magic happens. I'm going to go down here to this chain mail. Now you've noticed I added it twice because I knew I was going to use this first one as an anchor point. The anchor point has to be below where you use it. Another neat discovery is you can turn that off. Even though it's not being used in the display, you can still use it as a anchor point, which is really cool. So up here, I want to mask out everywhere that uh, it's not metallic. So I'm going to add a white mask. Of course, everything shows still because white means show everything. With my mask selected, I'm going to add a fill layer. And initially, it fills it with some gray scale. You know, we could make it white so it shows everything or black so you don't. Uh, what we want to do, though, is instead of a uniform gray scale, we're going to use the anchor point and pick the chain mail. Right now it isn't looking so cool because, uh, again, it's using base color by default and even between the links there is a color. We're going to use metallic. And instantly we start getting a pretty cool result because um, it's this mask is black, meaning don't show it, where it's not metallic. So that's looking pretty good um, already. Now to get a better view, um, I want to zoom in. When you zoom in a lot on this, it starts to get a little pixelated. So I changed my UV scaling from the default. I still have the default there of three. I have to change it in both places I'm using this. Change it to one. So now I got bigger lengths. And I can see, you know, I got two issues. One, it kind of fades away here. And if I do an alt click on the mask, remember it's it's not pure white and not you know black and pure white. So what I'm going to do here is on my mask, I'm going to add a levels tool and slide this down to compress that a little bit. Now instead of blending where it's gray, it's going to be purely 
chain mail with uh, totally covering up what's below and then black. So I can just kind of compress this way down. Go back to material mode. And if I play with this, you can kind of see there's a little bit of adjustments there going on. And, you know, whatever uh, looks right to you. But I also noticed some weird streaks coming across my metal links. And I realized, oh, that's the wood grain that's uh, being blended in with my links. So back on my chain mail, pick the height channel. Uh, in fact, let's cycle through here again. Mask, base color, metallic, roughness, normal. Normal plus height, you can see the streaks here. And that's what I need to get rid of. So on the height channel, I'll change my blending mode from linear dodge to normal. Oop. And now, um, see if we look at our channels again in normal plus uh, height. Clean that up a whole lot. And I'm thinking that's pretty good. Oh, about the last thing I did then was to change my texture set uh, resolution from 2K to 4K. I'll uh, let that recalculate. Cleans it up just a little bit more. So, took a few minutes to talk my way through it here, but man, once you uh, realize what you're doing, this doesn't take long at all. Create a anchor point add your new material, create a mask, and use that, in this case we use the metallic channel. We filled based on the metallic channel and then compressed the level a little bit to make it more uh, black and white. And there we go. I think that's what Oscar's looking for. So I hope that helps. Bye-bye.